p.m. to 10.30 a.m. on What's Up Lagos 99.3 Nigeria Info. Keep a date. President Bola Tinubu yesterday in Lagos joined Muslim faithful to observe the Eid il fitri prayers, urging Nigerians to continue to have faith in his government and remain patriotic citizens. He also called on the citizenry to love Nigeria more than any other country and continue to protect the integrity of the government and the leadership. Addressing journalists after the prayers at the Eid ground at Dodam Barracks about Indi, Tinubu said the renewed hope agenda of his administration aimed at bringing prosperity to Nigerians was being diligently implemented. Encouraging Muslims celebrating the conclusion of Ramadan to extend the values of sacrifice and resilience beyond the fasting period, the president emphasized the need for Nigerians to prioritize the exhibition of love for their country. The president is in a statement issued by his special advisor on media and publicity, Chief Ajuri Ngilali, said, the resilience and sacrifice that we have shown and made during this month should be preserved. Be a kind and cheerful giver, he's talking to us. We must love our country more than any other country because that is the only one we have. We must continue to protect the integrity of our government and leadership. The Renewed Hope Agenda is alive, well and fine, and Nigerians should continue to be very hopeful. Without hope, there is no salvation. Without hope, there is no development. Without hope, there is no life. Eid Mubarak. Ah, I want to continue, but... uh, Boring. Anyway, let me just finish it. Earlier in the sermon, the chief imam of Lagos State, Sheikh Suleiman Oluwatoying, urged Nigerians to show no acts of violence, ensure peaceful coexistence, and continue to have faith in the country. As those in leadership positions remain faithful, I like that one, to their oaths of office and work towards alleviating the suffering of the less privileged. Let's not forget our brothers and sisters in Gaza and other areas of conflict. That's what the chief Iman said. But back to what the president is telling us. I mean, in the spirit of Eid celebration, the president is, I mean, he warrants for it. He, you know, I'm, I'm very okay with the fact that you have to advise. It's not the first time this is happening. When, the, when it was Easter period, we got a lot of advice and quotes and all of that from the people in you know government positions. So it's okay. It, it, it comes in. But the, the only problem I just have is I had to check. When you say that we should, we should love the country more than any other country and that we should uphold the integrity, defend the, the integrity of the country, I had to ask myself questions. I had to check. I had to research. So I'm like, okay, what is the integrity of a nation? It is a bond that unites the citizens in the name of the country and brings oneness that's what is national integrity now it involves being honest and possessing strong moral principles and etiquette it helps in breeding of people and a nation that will not compromise standards thereby providing works of highest quality and encouraging growth and development is this my walk i'm sitting down and just like asking myself as a citizen Ray, is this my job? Is this what I have to do? I know that there's a, there's an office of the citizen, but is this what I am supposed to do? I now get to defend the integrity of the nation by doing what, though? So I'm, I'm very happy that these kinds of advice and these kinds of, you know, speeches are being held to kind of, you know, encourage us as a people to know that, oh, we are not alone and all of that. That's even questionable. But the thing is, is this speech right? Is it being said to the right people uh, are we the ones are we supposed to be the recipients of these speeches though because <laughs> somebody needs to check somebody actually needs to check and i'm talking about it because no no there has to be like a meeting a conference of all the uh political leaders where all of you tell yourself these things not toss because when it comes to hope there is no hopeful pressing than nigerians when it comes to patience i think we said this yesterday i mean i mean i don't mind sound like a broken record i will keep saying it when it comes to hope when it comes to resilience patience you know you can find this only in nigeria nobody even sells it to us we just have it inside of us it's, it's default so coming to tell us again, I mean, it's, it's something called assurance. Just just be telling the person, they said, I believe there's a truth in everyone. Sometimes you just need somebody to reignite it or ignite it for you. So yeah, let's say that that's what you're doing. But are we supposed to be the recipient of all of this? The integrity of this nation, we don't need to defend it. Everybody outside this country can see what's going on. And one of the things that's going on is there's insecurity. Yes. Are we supposed to have people who can defend us? But again, not saying anything. Promote good governance. 
good governance is crucial in defending the, the integrity of the nation. It involves ensuring transparency, accountability, and fairness in the administration of public affairs. Is that my job? It also means upholding the rule of law and respecting human rights. Is that my job? I mean, I'm just saying, now that I think about it again, in a meeting of people, there are different, you know, there's hierarchy, there's different people who are in a meeting. There's Oga, there's boy, there's everybody. So I don't want to believe he's just talking to the boy, he's talking to the Ogas as well. And everybody to put their ear down and hear what the president is saying. Let's defend the integrity of this country and let's love this country more than any other country in the world. Is this a good place to say that sound off? Okay. Life can be fun. But, but life in itself can be hard. Every single day, we wake up to all kinds of stories. Some good. And in sports, Nigeria's Tobia Musso has set a new 100 meters hurdles world record. Some bad. And some outrageous. A 29 year old woman, Oluchi Mbaduba, has been arraigned before an Ogba magistrate court for allegedly beating up her brother's wife. This is Sandra. Where we bring these issues to the fore. Mm -hmm. You can hear this Mondays to Fridays, 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. On WhatsApp Lagos 99.3, Nigeria Info. Keep a date. Okay, welcome back. Check your time. 20 minutes past 10 o'clock on the show. What's up? Lay, 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 lay. Lagos. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Feta. I'd like to know your name when you call me. But before that, I will not try to tell you about the one play thing that you can play to win some money. And of course, it's www.oneplay.ng with 500 naira. Make sure you click on Nigeria Info and play the game to win. 20,000 naira. Up for grabs. 11.45. And today, Thursday, we usually have our lady lawyer coming to the studio. And today is no different. She's coming. Not on the phone this time. She has told me yesterday that she's coming. So we're expecting her at 11 o'clock. We're going to be having a conversation about paternity. There's no, I don't want to use accents or phonetics to paternity. That's what we're talking about today. And there's a lot of questions surrounding that paternity. It's, it's. I mean, I, I'm hoping she's going to talk about paternity fraud as well. It has to be inside. It has to be, it has to be connected. So let's hope that we have that conversation. So if you have questions, you have contributions, just get them ready because we, we are going to bombard her with all those questions and all those contributions. And of course, I'm sure that she's going to do a thorough job at, you know, the conversation or on the conversation. By the way, we have Kemi. AKA Sweet Gist. I don't yeah. know why you don't always give us like your AKA. I like it. Because you, know you always bring, no, you always bring. That's it, Sweet Gist. Leave it for, leave for Kemi. Kemi is good at it. Thank you. Kemi is very good. Um, Lagos, you know that when Feta was saying some things like play, I'm, I don't know if you got to the gist, but she was giving you a very strong advice. And with the price of everything, every single food item that is going to the moon and is not coming back, <laughs> we're not seeing it dropping anytime soon. It's enough to be tired. So, but anyways, I have a solution, okay? There is money on ground waiting for you to come and take your own share. And with that, you can use that one to hold body, you know, instead of urgent 2K, urgent 5K. I've even heard that there's urgent 100K. 100 100k bit how how is 100k going to be urgent i i still i'm trying to understand it but lagos why are you trying to think of that well there's no need all you need is 500 naira here that's what we're asking 100 500 naira that 500 naira will make you win over 60,000 naira you can win 20,000 naira you can win on money crossfire you can win on whatsapp lagos you can win on game on shows you can win on the sunny side too yes on the sunny side with Joyce. And guess what? If you don't even win during the weekday, Friday, there's a jackpot. You can also win there. If that doesn't work for you, there's weekend. Yes, weekend people are not left out as well, okay? The football frenzy show happening every weekend, you can also win there too. And guess what? All you have to do is use 500 Naira to go to the website at www.oneplay.ng. That is www.numera1 play.ng or just dial the code star 347 star 880 star 3 hash i'll take it again star 347 star 880 star 3 hash with as little as 500 there and that's it all your ticket is in the draw all you have to do is either go on the website and play 
or play using the ussd code and note that whether you use the ussd code or you play on the website your chance of winning are still the same okay so you can qualify for the weekly jackpot too remember this is not for people under 18 i'm saying it again if you are under 18 this is not for you go and tell your uncle and your auntie tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend okay and collect your own commission i mean what else is there money is money well no matter how it comes okay so lagos please as you're playing play responsibly but still remember that the more you play the better your chances of winning no don't say i didn't do anything good for you no let's not like emmy you've done a lot for us thank you very much for always coming to remind us of this thing and if you're at this point in time still doubting to be honest i don't blame you for doubting i mean there's room for doubts to be honest because i mean that's for you but see to be sincere there is no room for doubt because people are winning the money <laughs> no i'm not trying to invalidate your doubt i'm saying that it's valid yes i mean you can have trust issue on that yes you can you can i mean your eyes have seen a lot for you to be able to say ah it's not this kind of thing are you sure but trust me people are winning today people will win tomorrow just like that like that but you want to be you know in the rear just watching people you want to be spectating that's okay but i'll advise you not to just do it for the sake of just do it do it of course and you stand a chance to win and i always say that when you're playing this game have it at the front of your mind not at the back at the front that you're going to win don't Wait, just one second break. We'll be right back, okay? Don't forget, at 11 o'clock, we're going to be having our lady lawyer in the studio. We're talking about paternity today. And if you have questions, if you have everything, so, I mean, I want to hear many just story and just bring it let's trash everything today everything that we need to know about paternity she's going to be touching on it uh that we need to know yes she's going to be touching on all of that but we have to take a break it's 99.3 nigeria info what's up lagos is the show i am feta we'll be right back Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Are you ready for some morning magic? Tune in and turn it up. Lagos. From 10 a.m. to 12 noon, it's time for the ultimate morning delight. Get ready to join Feta and Stretch on the airwaves. We are bringing you the happiest side of radio. Oh, yeah? Yeah. With talk that is seriously funny, serious conversations, and those that are, well, not quite conversations. <laughs> It's Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon, only on 99.3 Nigeria Info. So get ready, because it's time to find out what's up, Adult homes don't make life better for you and me. With the better Easter package. Adult Easter better, better life offer. offer. Yes, so time don't come where you and me go become landlord. With Adult Easter better life offer, you go enjoy 30 to 40% discount on any land where you buy this season. With as low as 50,000 naira to 3 million naira initial deposit and spread balance between 24 to 36 months. No be holy that all. Oh. You go enjoy many boku boku gifts like turkey, bag of rice, washing machine, smart TV, big cow, and many more. Sense and condition day oh. Our estate day for Lagos, Ogun, Oshun, Ekiti, Oyo, Abuja, Nasarawa, Niger, and Joss. You fit also subscribe for daily payment plan. For more Tori, call this number 80 or 80 Home. Building cities, communities, and homes. Enjoy the delicious creamy goodness of cowbell. Cowbell contains vitamin and vitamin B9, which supports brain development. Use cowbell in your tea, cereal, pap, and other meals of choice. Cowbell, so creamy, so good. Papa Landlord, good morning, no. Good morning, sir. Good morning. 
Ah, ah, Mama T, Fifi, mm. you're visiting us today? Yes, yes sir. so Fifi needs to braid her hair and you know no one does it better than Janet. <laughs> She's inside, but mm-hmm. Janet is not feeling well right now. She has tetanus infection and the very painful part is the doctor said it could have been avoided if she had received her booster vaccines on time. That's very true. There is even HPV vaccine for girls of her age between 9 to 14 years old. Uncle Alon, even you, there are vaccines for adults like COVID, hepatitis, yellow fever. It's okay, that's enough. <sighs> eh, but Baba Landlord, she's right. You should not play with vaccinations. It is very risky not to be taking vaccines and boosters, especially for you who is diabetic, or Janet, who is a young girl. <laughs> Follow who no road, though. All vaccines are safe for both children and adults. Visit a health facility to find out which vaccines you need, or call 7722 for more information. They look for pension fund administrator. We're soft, make sense, we care for me. Shy. No be the time when story go enter the matter. When it's time to deliver. Oh no, 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 no. The brand be sure them no go stress you. Uh, Call them, then they accessible. Yes, so. Customer care where they on point. On point. No go regret when you try of course. Uh, Provisable uh, investment. Everything, everything, it just a blend. If you know what it good for you, my guy, make you choose premium pension today. Join over 700,000 satisfied members and enjoy the premium experience at our offices across the 36 states in Nigeria, including the FCT. Call 09-4615-700-704 to make the switch today. Premium Pension. Active today. Premium tomorrow. Lagos! The B-Code Eid and Easter sales are here again. Save up to 50% when you shop with our official retail partners of Adidas, Skechers, and Havayanas. There are also tons of awesome gifts worth up to 50,000 Naira up for grabs. Visit any of our Lagos stores at Ikeja City Mall, Circle Mall, Novare Mall, Festival Mall, B-Code Store in Surulere, and the Adidas flagship store at 624 Akina Deshola in Victoria Island. This runs until April 14, 2024. So hurry and start shopping. Terms and conditions apply. Who says you can't have it all with one play? I got that defined boy. You have just won yourself. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Yes, Melitus. My one player don't cost a two player because you won 20k. <laughs> and so now you won yourself 20,000 Naira. My name is well done. Okay, well done. I want to tell you, well done. You won yourself 20,000 Naira. With 500 Naira, you can play to win big. From 120,000 Naira to 190,000 Naira daily on Nigeria Info. Go to oneplay.ng and play with 500 Naira. And in a few seconds, your ticket is in the draw. Or dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Win daily on Nigeria Info. 50,000 Naira on Morning Crossfire. 60,000 Naira on WhatsApp Lagos. 20,000 Naira on Sunnyside. And 60,000 Naira on on Game On. So Lagos, what are you waiting for? The more you play, the better your chances of winning. Remember to dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Play responsibly, not suitable for persons under the age of 18. Hey, 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 my people, if you be businessman, where they spend money anyhow? Make I tell you something, we go make your life easy. The Inverto card, this now card, we go make you feel like Oga for business spending. <laughs> No limit at all. With Virtual Card, you fit spend anyhow for your business. No more fear for yeah, 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 bank fees and limit where they hold your business back. Virtual Card, now the solution where you need for all your international business payment. So imagine, say, you fit pay all your suppliers worldwide every time without stress. Virtual Card, now the card where savvy business. No limit, no wahala. You day ready to flex like the big man where you be so? Grab your Virtual Card today for all your business spendings. Virtual Card, the card where they match your business levels. No shaking. Go download the Virtual Pay up, shop, shop, and get your card now. Now, terms and conditions apply. Everyone says I'm beautiful and bold, they say I'm fashionable, and to crown it up, very confident. <laughs> and my secret is people say I'm good looking, funny, hard working, and to crown it up, very confident. And my secret is so, whether in the office or at home, in the streets, or on the dance floor, anytime, any day, I, I never, never lose, lose my, my confidence. confidence. 
And the secret to my confidence is Wazobia Perfume. Absolutely. Wazobia Perfume gives the authenticity and long-lasting fragrance all day. That's my secret confidence. Wazobia Perfume is available in body spray. Also available in supermarkets and markets near you. You can also get it on Jumia. Wazobia Perfume, the correct scent. 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station for talk. Let's talk. Okay, 34 minutes past 10 o'clock on the show. 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station for news, talk, and sports. Is What's Up Lagos? Aha, I am Feta. Welcome, welcome. Of course, uh, it's time for the musing as we wait to so await the lady lawyer to come. I want to ask you a question. You know, say, it be don't say where this mobile phone, GSM, hmm? Handsets don't they around a very long time now, and I cannot I cannot imagine how many you have used so far. Can you imagine how many? I mean, of course you can because you are the one that is doing it. Help me. Since the advent of handsets, mobile phones, I want to ask you this question: How many have you lost? How many have you condemned? Which of them is the most painful? Ah, I have a story. The first day, the first, my first, the first day I entered into uni. The fr- ah, thinking about it now, it's painting me again. All of us, it's a fresh wound. The first day I entered uni, the first class I had was when they stole my first phone. Ah, I cried for weeks because that phone was new. My brother gave it to me because I am entering the uni, you need a phone. And I just, I, I think it happened, it just happened. That one is even, I lost the phone. I lost it, so... I was maybe I don't I won't I don't say I was careless. I don't know. I didn't know the workings of right. I just thought uh, why would anybody want to steal my phone? My fine uh uh-uh, phone. Sitting on the chair and just I think I just turned around. It wasn't up to one minute. I turned back, I couldn't find my phone and that was it. Everybody was like, ah, you don't go yourself. Ah, what's he lo-? And it was paining me because nobody could even assure me. Even when we had to go and meet the class rep, the, the HOD, everybody just kept telling me, he's gone, he's gone. Forget about it. I'm like, how do I forget about something that I just bought? I've not even used this thing for up to like, I've waited up to one week. Why would I just forget the phone like that? It was so painful. But yeah, I mean, I had to give it up because there was nothing they could do about it but lagos i'm asking you I, condemned for me have i condemned any phone i don't think so i don't think i had to i've not, I've not had to condemn any phone but losing a phone that's the first one that's if i think about it till today ah i still get very very pained very pained because i didn't i didn't deserve that i didn't deserve that pain that's that i didn't deserve it nobody should do that to any other person it is a bad thing what is bad is bad, Malin say. Why? I mean, but everybody thought I was not smart. I looked like a JJC, a Jambito. I just came. I didn't know. Uh, 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 uh. And it was painful. But that's the question this morning before we go into the serious conversations. I want to ask you, how many phones have you lost? How many have you condemned? And which of them is the most painful? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Just remember a friend of mine that was in Blackberry at the time that Blackberry was a king. Oh, God. I know that. What's that? There's, there's this, there's this the model of that one that has like a slide. That one was, I think it was a dream of many people. After you have both five, the next thing you want to have is that particular brand. I've forgotten the model name. I can't remember, but it has a slide with the Blackberry phone. And, you know, he had just bought the phone and it was just everybody like, ah, ah, big boy. What do you see this morning? Eh? The next thing, I got inside his eye, boss. The, the story, hmm, this, even he cannot say. You know the way you lose your phone most times? And when you're explaining to people how it happened, they'll be like, ah, <laughs> why were you so dumb? <laughs> it could be that you want to take something from your bag and it just fell and, and you just you just forgot about it. And that's it. The next time you remember, it will look like they use they use jars on you. By jars, you know what I mean now. They touch, touch and follow. They touch and not remember. Something like that. You remember when you have gotten home, maybe like three or four hours later. Normally, the, the, the you that you know, you check your phone every 10, 10 minutes. But on that very day, it just happened that <clears throat> you just forgot your phone for like two hours. And when you remember, suppose you love. 
it's a, it's have already gone away like that. So that's what I'm asking you this morning. I want to share your experience with me. Tell me your story. How many phones have you lost and how many have you condemned? Let's talk about it. You can call me on 021-465-7190 or you can just send me a message on WhatsApp 0809-597-5805. You're streaming on Facebook and YouTube, by the way. You can go there and, of course, drop your comments if you want to. And Lagos, you know you have to follow us on our social media pages. We are everywhere. Facebook, X Threads, Instagram, um, YouTube, you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel, so please subscribe, okay? So you can watch us live when we go live, like today. Now we are streaming on Facebook and YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to that one. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, Feta Dynamo, on Twitter, D underscore Feta. Let's take this one here. Good morning, what's up, Lagos? Good morning, what's up, Lagos? What's up, Lagos? You're still live. How are you doing? What's your name? Friday, Friday for me, Friday, you don't lost phone before. Uh, my sister, you know, oh. we, we will not get more to where we they fight for more and buses. Oh. Now we did lost the pass. So. The pain is real. How your own thing happen? The last time I lost a phone, this guy was in my front. I never knew that they were two. He was carried back. See that now, see that now. He refused to see that. He get, get mission. Yes. I was concentrating on it. Never knew that the one at my back has removed my phone. Kai. Kai. What? They were too. That one was in my phone. Sit down and let me have a split to sit. He was just selecting the seat. I never, I was concentrating on him. The one in my bag just removed my phone. Okay. Then later, that one said, Ah, oh, guy, they disturb me. Let me go down. Can you it imagine? Was there. It was there that the conductor said, Make you wash in your pocket to see the year. My guy, my sister, before I check my pocket, the phone was gone. And those two guys, they are run away. They don't come down from the bus. They don't come down from the bus. Hey, Friday. So that, that did on Friday happen. <laughs> that did not happen. Friday. <laughs> so, it was on Friday. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make I ask you so. Make I ask you now. How many phones in total you don't lose? I know if you can't again. No. Uh, you're but, plenty like that. Yeah, so since that six years ago, anytime I want to uh, entry bus, now I don't put my phone in my pocket. I only oh, okay, you put them for pocket. Now, the yeah. funny thing about it is that no be the first time they put your phone for pocket with that too. Hello? I, I said no be the first time they put your phone for pocket too. Time. Oh, you see. Um, that was not the first time, but that today happened like that. But since then, if I want to enter bus, now I will make sure I hold my phone and my wallet. Chai. My Sorry. That day, my phone and my wallet was gone. Hi. I have to, when I got to Yanoba, I have to beg one woman that I used to buy fufu for my aunt to give me. To give you money. To me 200 Very and I just embarrassing. Bus to my house. Kai, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, God, oh, jeez. Oh, people are wicked. Uh -uh. And the funny thing is, oh, go and sell that phone now for peanuts. Nonsense. Somebody on WhatsApp is telling me how Nigeria info line I have isn't going through. Please, uh-uh, now. There's a 0201 465 7190 Call that number, 0201-465-7190. Hello there, good morning. What's up, Lagos? What's up, Lagos? Yeah, chance to love. Yes? Where's Guru Guru one? Please, my man is resting. You cannot kill him. Today is not holiday. Uh-uh. Maybe uh, go finish today. Tomorrow go resume. Make my man rest. I beg, no, no go uh, kill him for me. No, make it rest. Who did you get fit or not there? Um, Kemi um, there, yeah. But she knows she, oh. her voice is there low. But <laughs> she there, yeah, you. <laughs> Good morning. Come on. Alpha. Mm, uh, no, no <laughs> problem, Jerry. I see some Uncle Jimmy try to make you totally because Madam they the old. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, <wow>. <laughs> <laughs> They, they Jimmy will always throw you under the bus. Be ready. Every time. Mm. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> my own, eh? mm. Tell me, the tell me. The times they removed my phone, I recovered it. Mm? The grace upon yes. you is a lot of it. We want some. Hi, the how? Guy, the funny thing. The funny thing. The first one, the guy had an envelope, mm. put it on his lap, mm. and covered my own uh, lap as well. <laughs> and the guy was sneezing. I keep on telling, oh, bless you. He said, thank you, sir. <laughs> the guy goes, sneeze. <laughs> I say bless you. Say thank you, sir. <laughs> Immediately after uh, charity, you know charity bus stop. Mm. Uh -huh. Immediately after charity, he say I drive. Oh, 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 go on the charity. Mention anything that you want to drop. So immediately come down. Say my friend, can I have my phone? Eh? He come back, stretch his hand. Can you imagine? 
give me my phone. And people like say, ah. How did you know? You know? I said, no. He said, but this guy, you were sneezing, you were telling God, I thought you were going together. I said, no, that is the right thing for me to do now. Kai! Kai! People were blaming me. Somebody, where they see your phone, you don't even tell them. God. As in <laughs> it. Don't say, don't so, 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 pretend. Uh, tell me, uh, since you don't use mm. phone, how many you don't lose? Okay, now only that two. Are you recover up? No, I never lost phone. But the two times they, re- they removed my phone, you I collect them I back. I collect them back. Mm. One I sell it. You're a bad man. Uh, apart from <laughs> the ones that got spoiled. But say they steal my phone. Two times where they try them. That's why I said, I'm a conductor. But if I go join this, if I go join police, so this is your intuition, eh? we need them for the for, for uh, police force. Look, Feta. We just look him cream like oh no. From my pocket. They remove money from my pocket like mm. this. I won't go buy pass for my gura gura. Uh. I won't enter. The guy make uh, space for me. Say no, make I enter and say, I say no, move. Mm. Don't know inside I can't get the opportunity to remove my money. Hi. Now he move, I sit down nearer. If you reach a level so the guy don't remove the money. Come cross. And that's a lane a dangerous area. They must not hear only. Hmm. Mm. So the, the moment he come down cross, I stretch my um, head out, say, bang, 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 bang. The guy just like two steps. Don't respect come himself. Back. Uh, he come back, stretch his hands, give me the money. Kai. People in the bus say, ah, okay, you mean it's Timo? I say, yes, he just returned it. Wow. Now you don't talk, make we kill. I say, no, ah, I don't no, no, keep person no, on my no, head. No. You thank don't go you. steal another person own. Thank you. Thank you so for calling us. Man, no, mm. You have to shine your eyes. Shine your eyes. I, I feel to make you even do master class. People use the come. JJ see them. They go pay, they go pay 10, 10,000. May you teach them how to adapt to Lagos. Hey! Wow. The grace upon this man is a lot. We need to take some. You know, make me remember this Dusty song. There is a spirit in man, the spirit of under, the spirit of the Almighty that gives you understanding. Uh uh-uh. That spirit upon you, and eh? don't joke with it. It's to say, it's to say, real spirit. It is real. Good morning. What's up, Lagos? What's up, Lagos? You? Yes, sir. Ogi, no lie. I see him. Clean your mouth. <laughs> and they see Ogi for that. You don't drink Ogi. Ogi, I'm bread. Boy. What's your name? Sunday. Sunday. so Welcome to the show. All right. Where are you calling us from? I'm bad yet. Ah. People will go you outside. You don't come to them. me at Tushudi. Eh? In fact, I was at bus stop at Tushudi. Where are you calling us right? Where are you calling us from right now? Okay, sorry. I'm calling from uh, VI. VI, okay. It happened to you at Oshodi, yeah. the great Oshodi. Oshodi. Child. Yes. During that time, I used to work in first Star Town. Child. So when I was uh, at the bus stop Oshodi, okay, mm. I was about to enter bus. One guy just put the hand inside my pocket and pick up the phone. So I grabbed him. Before I know, he passed out to the other guy. That guy passed out to the other one. The three of them. The other one took the phone and ran away. Ah? Uh-huh. So I did not let him go. You know what happened? So you saw he him passing them. the phone to somebody else, Abi? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The uh-huh. phone. See him so now. The phone now See God. See with God. So I now said, oh, if you search me, you don't say you have phone. I will deal with you. I said, you dealing with Deal two. with who? Not knowing that there were many in number. Mm-mm. And that was all. And the second one was when I was watching. So uh, you didn't you didn't get the phone back? For where? Ooh. Even as I flashed the number, I called somebody. Somebody helped me. I called the number and flashed it. The thing was ringing. It must be very very. We did very not know the area. Yes, they've already gone. Hey. And then the third one was when uh, Nigeria and uh, this in Argentina, let I think three or four years ago, huh. when Nigeria scored. <laughs> I was at the line where people stood. We are shouting, go! Before you know, they snatched <laughs> the phone from my hand, not even in my pocket. Before I make a move, this one put me, this one. Be- before you know, they escaped. So, in fact, anybody, whether you hold your phone in your hand, mm. this boy had the means of, you know, you... They can use somebody and commit the They can use less the person. person. Wow. Yes. So how many phones? How many phones have you have you lost in I've your lost life? Two. 
Just two. And the third one was my wallet. That one. That one will be fine. I wore this uh, jeans. When the guy put hand to bring out the wallet, then I now turn and circle his hand. Hmm. Round. The, the hand was almost broken into pieces. Shut. He shouted, oh, my hand, oh, I found you, I found you. I said, wait in the bag. Hey. <laughs> so they caught him, they, they beat <laughs> hell out of him. I said, yes. I, I was even begging the people. I said, they, they should they, reduce the beating. Please let him go. Chai, yes. Chai. So I got my wallet back with the money in chai. there. There was nothing wrong. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you for calling us. This is one of the reasons why you should watch more action movies. Movies. You learn some things in this action movie. See the way he held that hand. He didn't say don't hold Percy and like that before. Now film me watch him now. Try and be watch. Not every time the king's daughter wanted to marry the poor man's son. No, they watch action film. Hmm? Good morning. What's up, Lagos? Hey, 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 hey. Good morning. Good morning. Cheers to life. Welcome. Where's your name? Where are you calling us from? It's Big Ben. Eh? Huh? Big ben. Small Ben. Okay, Big Ben. Welcome. Uh, Small Ben, Unka. Small Ben, don't lose. <laughs> we'll lose him. I don't know whether he's a power. Okay. I thought, yes. So how many four you don't lost us for your life? So, Zodi. Okay. I don't know. For four years old. Where are these boys waiting? Oh. Who's this? About three, then. Let's go. How many phones they collect for your hand? I collect one, uh, this flat, uh, um, okay, I carry that one, yeah. where they come for the work. They just be online, though, that time when they, they come out, they yeah. put a 50 of the push, uh, for that push. Yeah. And then they, they collect everybody from one motor to one motor. Like okay, that. did they rob na- na tra- traffic day that day? Yes, they na- rob. Hey, yeah. they caught the rob you. Oh. How many, how many, how many months ago this one happened, so? This one, don't say. Don't say, okay. But so, how many for you don't lost, now, since you don't use phone? How many don't lost in total? I'm not here, they collect, not here. Mm. They collect, uh, Motorola, that's what. No, they, no, they call the name of the phone. Just tell us the, the, uh, the... Motorola, about three, like Three, they don't collect for your hand, now. Wow, you need bodyguard, though. Work, then. Then you can mark ground, when you don't pass, be careful. Oh. Oh, sorry, yeah. If I do eh? sorry. If I do eh, Hannah, calm down. Go, we provide another one. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> if I do eh, means don't be angry, okay? All right, um, <laughs> Sweet Gist is here. And Sweet Gist has another Sweet Gist for us. Yes, Lagos. So, <laughs> as usual, I've got sweet gist for you. And this one is coming from Medic West Africa. Okay? So come experience the future of healthcare at the 11th edition of Medic West Africa. And if you're wondering what that is, well, they're one of the leading healthcare trade events in the West Africa region. So you do not want to miss out on this. It's happening live at the Landmark Center, Victoria Island, Lagos, from the 17th to the 18th to the 19th of April, 2024. And this event is set to bring together a diverse audience. So you want to be part of it. I'm talking about government officials, healthcare trade professionals, including manufacturers, distributors. So industry innovators are going to be around for three days. So you have to join them as they showcase the latest technological advancement in healthcare. And not only would you have the opportunity to see the latest technology, but you can also participate in interactive sessions and conversations. And the best part, it is all for free. Yes, Lagos, it's all for free. Admission is free. All you need to do is register on the website. That is www.medicwestafrica.com. I'll say say that again, www.medicwestafrica.com westafrica.com in small caps okay remember that admission is free so you do not want to miss out on this great opportunity okay mark your calendars lagos explore the latest innovations forge meaningful connections and stay ahead in the dynamic healthcare landscape at the 2024 medic west africa exhibition and conference happening live in lagos at landmark center victoria island from the 17th to the 19th of april okay be there from 10 a.m to 5 p.m on the first day and day two and 
10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on day three. So day one and day two is 10 to 5, while day three is 10 to 4. So you do not want to miss out on this, all right? Thank me later. Okay, back to the conversation. Edwin Orion from Awoyaya is telling us that good morning, Feta, from 2002 till date. I guess I've lost up to four, condemned up to three, gave out up to three as well. Two incidents of me losing my phone to thieves were really sad. One was during the NSAS crisis. Okay. Those bad boys crowded my car, trying to vandalize my car. I had to submit my phone to them. Too sad. Second incident was when I gave a guy a ride from VI area to Jaconde bus stop. On getting to his destination at Jaconde bus stop, the guy moved with my phone. Moved. That was on my side, charging. It was when I needed to call my wife, I realized. Since then, I hardly give guys a ride. And if I must, I have to stay guided. The good thing is that I hardly buy phones. I'm always gifted and, and I sold phones, them they gift me. Sold phones, how? All right, thank you very much, Edwin, for that. Lagos, don't forget uh, www.oneplay.ng. Go there and play the game to win with 500 naira. Click on Nigeria Info when you want to play that game. And 11.45, we'll do our live draw and you win yourself 20,000 naira. We'll be right back. What's up, Lagos? Right here. Yeah. You feel good? Go! Mommy, my teacher said 90% of my brain would develop by the time I am five. Really? What else did she say? She said I need iron in my food for my brain to grow well. Oh, very true. And that's why I give you Cereal Junior every day, which provides half of your daily iron needs. And Serilla Junior tastes so good. Serilla <laughs> <laughs> Junior with Iron Plus. It's all good, Mom. Say goodbye to charging fears with Infinix Note 40. Fast charging, ensuring you're powered up from boardrooms to hangouts. Enjoy the stunning 108 megapixel iOS zoom camera and capture memorable moments every day. There's more. Purchase the Infinix Note 40 and get a three months free subscription to Showmax to enjoy all the action of the English Premier League football matches and the latest blockbuster movies. What are you waiting for? Head over to any authorized Infinix retail store nationwide and get your Infinix Note 40 today. Terms and conditions apply. It isn't just about your safety alone. The lives of other people are in your hands. So whatever you do, be irresponsible. Don't drink and drive. This is an initiative of the Safe Roads Campaign brought to you by Perno Ricard Nigeria. Some call it a disorder, a disability. Having a skin with two distinct colors may seem to others like the end of the world. Not me. I'm a babe, a speck, a 10 out of 10. The unstoppable, the beautiful with lush hair. Lush hair. Be beautiful. Enjoy the delicious creamy goodness of Cowbell. Cowbell contains Vitarich and vitamin B9, which supports brain development. Use Cowbell in your tea, cereal, pap, and other meals of choice. Cowbell, so creamy, so good. Thanks for calling Bastion Since HMO. Since I signed up with Bastion HMO, I don't worry about hospital bills. I get access to top quality healthcare and still save enough for other things. They even help me prebook my doctor's appointments. Bastion HMO also gives me access to over 1,700 hospitals and clinics with the freedom to switch whenever. I feel so in control of my finances and health. Call 0800 Bastion or visit www.bastionhmo.com to purchase a plan that suits your needs. Bastion Health, the HMO that puts you in control. Okay, so this is your total. Do you need anything else? Uh, yeah, I'd like to pay for the person at the back. Ah. <laughs> In fact, add one pack of Malta Guinness. <laughs> Guy, I won't give you my number. Why are you paying for me? I just feel like doing good. I don't need a reason to share goodness. 
Goodness is not just an expression, it's a way of life. So share the goodness with someone today. Bro, one for me to have Yes, yeah, so one cold Malta Guinness for you too. <laughs> Malta Guinness, enjoy a world of good. For how much? That's how you react when you see really high prices for rides. But there's no reason to worry. Because with InDrive, you can always offer a fair deal and not just hope for it. Use InDrive and negotiate for the most fair price for you. InDrive. People driven. The InDrive online passenger transportation aggregator is not a taxi service. Find more information at www.indrive.com. Madam, you don't try this new lush hair for you want no lie relaxer kit. We get free neutralizing shampoo and conditioner join. What? Me, I know deal. Uh, you're not even savvy waiting the apple for town. You see this lush hair relaxer so. You know the pepe. You know the bond. It won't even make your hair shine like oil. That's so. Lush hair relaxer kit. Not correct. We no go make your hair cut. Uh-huh. We no go make your hair dry. Uh-huh. You know the pepe. Uh-huh. And the relax hair. Well, well. Go by your honor. Lush hair. Be beautiful. You are listening to your number one station for talk. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info. Working to bring you up to speed on today's event. How do we get everybody on board? How do we convince people that COVID is you, that COVID is not a scam? We have prominent Nigerians that have died from this COVID and government has come out to say, yes, yeah, individual that individual died from COVID. So why are people not believing that? Why would we lie? So you just eat Gary a lot without adding other things. Okay. You can have problems with the eyes. And then when Gary isn't properly processed. Your number one station for talk. Station for talk. Let's talk. It's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. The headline news on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info. On the headlines, the public holiday declared by the federal government to mark Idu Fitri continues today, Thursday. President Tinubu has urged Nigerians to continue to show resilience and patriotism. The Sultan of Sakoto, His Eminence Saad Abubakar, wants Nigerians to pray for the leaders of the nation. Some Muslim faithful say they focus their prayers during the 30-day fast on a better Nigeria and peace in Gaza. It was not a pleasant ideal for three celebrations for some bus passengers in Lagos as their vehicle plunged into the lagoon on the third mainland bridge. Several people have been shot outside an event celebrating the end of Ramadan in West Philadelphia, United States. Hamas political leader Ismail Haniye has confirmed that three of his sons and four of his grandchildren were killed in the airstrike in Gaza. Five-time winners Barcelona came from behind to enter a slender advantage over Paris and German in the first leg of their Champions League quarterfinal in France. And in the other game played last night, Atletico Madrid held off a late Borussia Dortmund fight back to hold a slender advantage that after the first leg of the Champions uh, League quarterfinal. And those were the headlines in this hour, 99.3 Nigeria Info. We'll have a full bulletin for you at 12 p.m. Stay tuned. It's now back to What's Up Lagos. I am Feta Utswegba. Good morning to you. That matters to you. When you marry, you don't cheat. The most common drug that damages the liver is paracetamol, what we call acetaminophen. People think that paracetamol is just paracetamol. I can take paracetamol. No. Do you know I've been monitoring elections since 1999. Rigging of election takes place not at the polling unit, but at the collation center. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Are you ready for some morning magic? Tune in and turn it up. Lagos. From 10 a.m. to 12 noon, it's time for the ultimate morning delight. Get ready to join Feta and Stretch 
on the airwaves. We are bringing you the happiest side of radio. Oh, yeah? Yeah. With talk that is seriously funny. Serious conversations. And those that are, well, not quite conversations. <laughs> it's Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon, only on 99.3 Nigeria Info. So get ready, because it's time to find out what's up, Linda? All right, three minutes past 11 on the show. What's up, Lagos? 99.3 Nigeria Info. I am Feta. And of course, we have a lady lawyer in the studio this morning. As promised, she's here looking beautiful. Uh-uh, no traffic today. Just a smooth ride. How did it, how did it feel? <laughs> you want Lagos to be like this every day, Abby? Yeah, but sad, but it can't be. be no it can't be. There'll be no money. Yeah, there'll be no money. And it can't be, actually. So welcome, welcome uh, this morning. Today, I already told the listener we are talking about paternity. Hmm. Mm. It's going to be very interesting. I'm, I'm pumped. I cannot wait for the things we're going to unpack in this conversation because there are so many questions. And Lagos, I've told you since 10 o'clock, eh, all the questions you have, all the contributions, all your comments, keep them on side because let's start pouring as a matter of fact as we start the conversation this morning. But Olamide, you know what we do now. You know. Hey. You leave your wig outside. <coughs> Come here, you shot the thing. If you don't shot it, we can't start the show. Are you ready? Yep. One to go. What's <laughs> up, Lagos? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we can get started. So, um, I mean, obviously, we have to talk about the meaning of paternity. The questions, are, one of the questions surrounding paternity, I think one very major question is how do you determine the paternity of a child? I mean, it's everywhere on, on Google, but some people might really want to know that. So maybe we should just start off by, you know, talking about what paternity is and what it involves. Okay. Okay. Um... Paternity of a child, right, is, can be determined under different circumstances. Mm-hmm. So it's not that straightforward. Mm-hmm. Now, the position of the law is that a child born within a subsisting marriage is presumed to be the child of the husband in that marriage. Mm. Presumed, you yeah, now. Yes, there's a presumption of legitimacy. Mm. That every child born within a subsistent marriage is um, the son or the daughter, the child of the husband in that marriage. Okay. And even within 280 days after the dissolution of that marriage, if a child is born to the mother, is presumed to be the child of that, of the husband. You have to say it again. Please say it again, because <coughs> every everything everything we talk about on, on this show yes. on legal matter is it's always channeled legally. It's always the legal aspect of everything. So you 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 are saying that every child that is born in a subsisting marriage, yes, is presumed to be the child yes. of the man in that marriage. Yes. Then after two hundred and how many days? Eighty days after the dissolution of that marriage, it's also presumed that the child belongs to the husband. Of that dissolved marriage. Okay. Unless it is reported. That presumption can be reported. Okay. And it's um it's um it was done. The intent of that law is because of public policy, so that children who are born within marriage mm. will not be bastardized. So it's a very hard presumption to dislodge. So they have to be proof. Now, how do you obtain the proof? That's always the issue. So, um, so if there are two contesting fathers, probably one is the husband, mm-hmm. then one man, it's an ex or something. And if there's evidence that the father, that is the husband, had access to the wife at some point before during the conception of that child, and if there's another man claiming that he also had access to the child. The court will give precedence. Access to, to the, the child husband. or access to the woman? Sorry, access to the mother. Okay. The court will give precedence to the husband of the marriage. Now, if the mother of the child and the father of the child decline to submit that child for a DNA test, there's nothing the, fa- the proposed father can do. So this is to preserve family family life and not to destabilize to mm. destabilize a child okay 
So once the child is born within wedlock, it is presumed that the child belongs to the father. Even if the father is disputing him, that is the husband in the marriage, mm. if he's disputing the paternity of that child, mm. right? And if the mother refuses to submit that child for DNA test, for DNA test or blood test, it is presumed the father owns that child. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What I'm hearing is it true? Wait, I need to understand. Now you're saying yes. If a woman is married to a man and the man is doubting that this child doesn't belong to me and yes. she insists that the child is yours. Yes. And then says, and the man says, well, I have to go for DNA. And the man, woman says, no, I'm not going for any DNA. And she goes to court for that, for that single issue. She's going to win it. Because she was born within that marriage. You can't compel. But, but DNA is uh, actually, sometimes a man doesn't need the permission of his wife to do a DNA. You <laughs> can just, you Unless know? he can have access to the child and do a DNA independently. Okay. Aside about if, for instance, the, the child is abroad and the mother is suing for maintenance of that child mm. and the father is doubting the pattern. So far, there's evidence that the child was born during the marriage and the father had access to the mother mm. dur during the conception of that child. It is presumed that he be the child belongs to him. And you cannot compel, right, a guardian of a child to submit that child for DNA test. Wow. Hmm. Because, because there's a story on social media about this whole thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if the you, mobile, the mobile and the and the wife and everything. Okay, hmm. let me speak to that. Number one, that child was born during this, the um, the uh, the life of a marriage. Yes, he was born within wedlock, mm -hmm. though native law and custom. Okay, was not under the state. What what this I am talking about is children born under the act. Okay. In a marriage under the act, under the, the statutory act. marriage. Okay. That's the one you contract in the church or you in a valid church. Too. It's not all churches that can contract this the statutory marriage. Mm -hmm. In this table, you are shaking. Or at the <laughs> registry. Now, what's the position of the law when the child is born mm. in a native law and custom marriage? It is also presumed that the father, the husband in that marriage, owns that child. Now, the difference, the, the, not even the difference. The problem this Baba Mumbad, right, would encounter is that during the lifetime of Mumbad, he acknowledged that child as his. Hmm. And the child was born during the valid marriage of the parents. Mm. And until his death, he did not denounce that child. Mm. For all Verbally that, or anything. Yes. So, and they cannot compel the mother to submit that child for a DNA test. It's not possible. The court will not bastardize that child for any reason. So the grandfather cannot go to court on account of a father that acknowledged the child during his lifetime, hmm. that was validly married to the mother, to now denounce that child on behalf of a What if they were not validly now, married? you cannot even... Under what the what child, if they were not validly married? That's not the So far, the, the father acknowledged that child during his lifetime. The child remains the father of that child, the son of that child. Wow. Now... If you now want to, they are talking about um, getting a court order so that they can have um, a DNA done on that child. It, you can only, the court can only order a DNA test when on behalf of a party that is, a, that is in the proceedings, not somebody that is dead. Hmm. It is only a party who is part of the proceedings that can move the court for a DNA test. Explain that that, pr that party of the proceeding. Okay. So it is only somebody that is alive, right? That can go to court and ask the court for an order for a DNA test. Hmm. Whether to prove that the child belongs to him or, or not, not. Or contrary. Okay. okay. Now, a third party cannot go to court on behalf of somebody that has died to do that. Wow. It is Where only goes? somebody that is living. Where it's goes? Did you know this? You have to be a party. And it's only a somebody who is alive that can be a party to a proceeding mm. to ask the court for mm. an order. Mm. Now, even when the court gives an order, the court cannot compel somebody to submit himself or the guardian of a child to submit that child for DNA test. So it will be very hard to disprove the paternity of that child. Mm. For all intent and purpose, it was born within wedlock. Mm. And the father acknowledged him during his lifetime. 
So whether the grandfather disproves him or not, or not, it doesn't because concern the issue now is, if the father is saying, if the grandfather is saying, he wants to submit his own um, DNA samples, mm. how are we even sure that he's the father of Mobad? Ah, problem you, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, did this this table you are shaking. But anyway, I want to know. So, what if? What What are the things like? What are the legal implications of establishing paternity? How do you mean? For example, you say you want to go to court because you think this child is not your child, and then you go to church to 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 court, and then you find that this child is actually your child. Are there any implications for that? Then you take up the maintenance of the child. So far, a child has been determined mm. that the, the the child belongs to you under the child right law. You have the responsibility as a father, as a parent, mm. to take care of that child. There's no impl- other implication like, oh, you have to be punished by the law for that. No. Or, or what if you, you get there and then you realize the child is not your child? So, <laughs> oh, okay. So what you're asking is that probably... Because I'm be, thinking... It's I'm not a crime for now. Paternity fraud now, for now is not a crime. Oh, okay. It's not been made a crime anyway. So okay. it's just for you to establish the father. Okay, so under native law and custom... Right. Mm. If a woman was married to a particular man, then she deserts the man. Right. Mm. That is probably she moves out of the house, then goes to another man to have a child. Under native law and custom, in the customary court today, most customary court, right? They will award that child, the paternity of the child, to the first husband, because that marriage was not dissolved probably by a customary court yeah. or the bride price was not yes. returned. Yes. So it still belongs to the first husband. In some cultures, in Yoruba culture, if a woman has a child outside of wedlock, I want to determine the paternity. It's um so far she knows who the paternity who the, who the father, father of the is, child is, yes. She'll be allowed to have that child until the child is of a particular age. Okay. Then the father will have custody of that child. So far, he will maintain the child. Hmm. However, in some cultures, once a single woman has a, uh, a child and the, there's no bride prize or they are not married, hmm. the father cannot claim that child. Hmm. Whether he's the biological father or not, hmm. he can't claim the child unless the mother willingly submits that child to the father or he marries the mother. Do you understand? Yeah. Those are the cultures. So, for out of wedlock children, it the, 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 the culture of the mother determines the paternity of the child. So, even in some cultures, when the father dies, no, when the husband of a woman dies, mm. any child that woman has after the death of the husband still belongs to the death dead husband's family. Unless she remarries the, and the other father the father must return the bride price hold on in other cultures if a woman gets um she, if she conceives of a child or births a child after, after the, the demise of, of her, her husband, husband it's still yes. presumed that the child belongs yes. to the family of the man she's married to Unless what if she had intercourse returned. with somebody else culture i'm talking of culture in most cultures and in some cases i've read a lot of cases but most especially old cases hmm. where the court will award the paternity of the child to the family of the deceased husband because of the bride price. She's still presumed to be a part of the, her husband's family. Whether the f- you know, in culture, in native law and custom, hmm. you are a wife to your husband and his family. Yes. So even when he dies, the marriage does not end. You are still... Cons- you are still so um, sometimes you're even asked if you want to remain in the family. They ask you after the demise of the your husband, would you still want to be in our family or you want to leave? Mm. In my culture, they ask you. Okay. In most cultures, you're still presumed to be a part of that. So if mm. you now go and have a child after the death of your husband, it's still presumed that that child belongs to the family. Unless the biological father of that child goes to return the bride price of that woman to the family. Before you can claim that child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, okay, Lagos. We want to take a break now. I told you to get all your questions ready. So this is the time for you to start pouring all those questions on our WhatsApp. We are streaming on Facebook and YouTube, by the way, so you can go there and drop your comments as well. The WhatsApp message is uh, number is 0809-597-5805. You can call us on 0201-465-7190. Let's take this call before we move over to Sweet Gist because I know she's here and she has Gist for us. Good morning. What's up, Lagos? Hello? Okay, do call this back. Sweet, sweet. Ah. Popping. <laughs> okay, Lagos. I mean, the draws are about to happen, Lagos. So, please, who better to win this money than you? Huh? You deserve it, dear. You deserve so, it. I don't so. understand. I don't Hi. understand. Why would you want to miss out? Mm. I don't get it. You could be ne- the next lucky winner, okay? And you could be one of the less lucky winners to win. All you have to do is dial a simple code or go onto the website www.oneplay.ng and use 500 naira, and that's it. Hmm. That's it. That's it's that easy for goodness sake. I'm one play is saying there's money on ground. Come on, collect your share. What's 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 the problem? I don't here. get it. All you have to do, Lagos, is go to the website at www.oneplay.ng dot ng selects nigeria info play with 500 naira and that's it your ticket is in the draw and if you don't have a smartphone my dear that's not an excuse so don't stop collecting your gen suki every way dial the code star three four seven don't let them know you for bad thing beggy (laughs) beggy play and win your own money exactly so that you can give people just 100k imagine you can (laughs) do that imagine if you win five times a week Uh -uh. Uh -uh. (laughs) uh-uh distribution Star three four seven star eight eight zero star three hash. That's the code. Okay, star three four seven star eight eight zero star three hash. All right. When you play with five hundred naira, it guarantees you a slot in the draw. Okay, and guess what? You can win on all the shows. You can win on Morning Crossfire, What's Up Lagos, Sunny Side, Game On. You can even win during the weekend. So football frenzy show. Yes, on weekends you can win there as well. And every Friday there will also be a jackpot of five hundred thousand naira please why would you want to sleep on that lagos okay so during the week if you play during the week it automatically qualifies you for that jackpot all right but every other day you can also win so your chances of winning are the same whether you play on the website which is www.oneplay.ng or on using the ussd code which is star three four seven star eight eight zero star three hash so start playing no remember the more you play the better your chances of winning is that's that's all that's on period and remember to tell a friend, okay? Be responsibly. Tell a friend. Don't keep it to yourself. Basically, what she's trying to say is be a good friend. And this is a time to show that you got a good friend, a good neighbor, a good brother, a good sister. Maggie, tell them that there's something called the one play ng game. And people are winning money daily on Nigeria Info. So play, play, play. Do not sleep. Oh, anyway, somebody here on WhatsApp is asking me. said, good morning, pretty. The USSD uh, one play code is not going through. Secondly, in the playing via USSD code, does it have options for transferring to a bank? Thanks. This is Nana from Songo. Yes. Mm. It does. It does. And if the USSD code isn't working, that's why we have the website. Just go, go to there. the website. www.numera1play.ng. Yeah. So it's that easy. Swiss has told you. If you want to use the USSD code to track, there is option for transfer. There if is. you want to use, I always advise you to go to the website and play because it's mean, so easy so peasy. Easy. I have a friend who's been trying to play for a while now, since last year, SF. Oh, She's wow. not been able to. But since the advent of this um, website. website, it's so easy. She chatted me to say, oh my God, it's just so easy. I just did it like, and I played it's twice. Very I'm easy, like, okay, I, mean. I wish you luck. So yeah. Do the thing, okay? Because eleven forty-five will do the draw, and of exactly. course, you get to win some money, some you can be money. We are streaming on Facebook and YouTube, and I have some comments here. I'm going to take them. We are talking about paternity today on Legal Matters. Olami Day, the lawyer, she's here to answer all your questions. You can bring all your contributions, your comments, and all of that. If you even have a story, me, I want to hear studio. <laughs> Anyway, this person here on WhatsApp, before I go to Facebook, he's saying, What's up, Lagos? Why is Nigeria ranked second to Jamaica in the world for paternity fraud? Do you have the stats? Do you have I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I, 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 before, uh, so please don't let me forget. I was going to talk about the mm-hmm. status of children born outside of wedlock. Okay. 
for the purpose of succession. Okay. All right, let's talk about that one when we, uh, I think on the other side, because we have like four minutes or so, I can just run through some uh, messages. And of course, you can call us 0201-465-7190, okay? Uh, good morning, Theta. How is the site spelled? Okay, www dot one play that's numeral one mm? one play dot ng just go there and and play okay to win on facebook we have um olawale and yolaoju who says what's up lagos good morning mrs feta stretch aka fake couples awesome broadcast okay thank you this paternity talk is very 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 complicated but highly highly educational and informative watching live from kaduna nigeria info rocks thank you <laughs> Okay, keep the calls coming. 0201-465-7190. I think you can get started on that on that topic before we go on the break so that we have like a, an intro for, okay. <laughs> for that Most one. Most times, paternity issues is always very linked to inheritance. Okay. Who is the father? Because you, in most cultures, you can only inherit. And mm. even under the law, you can only, only inherit along bloodlines. Mm. You have to be a blood to be an heir. Mm. So how do you determine a child that was born right mm. so take for instance the woman the widow was married under the law mm. under the act right and f another woman from nowhere just comes with two children at the burial and says my children are also um they are the deceased person's children and they're entitled to part of his estate mm. so how do you determine now whether a child is born within wedlock or outside wedlock they are entitled to the estate of their father mm -hmm. but how do you determine now, in that case, if the children were acknowledged during their lifetime by that deceased person, mm. they are the children of the man. Wow. So if there's evidence, you know all this, they, be, this hmm. family, they know them. If they can prove that they actually acknowledge. Take for instance, probably at the birth of that child, the father was there. Mm. Whether there was evidence to that, mm. there's an evidence to that. Or maybe his name is on the birth certificate, he was one that registered the children. Mm. Probably there are evidences to the fact that he pays their school fees, he rented the house for the mother, everybody in the mother's side knows him. They are, part, they are the children of that man. And that they cannot... Uh, um, okay, this thing that you are saying, a lot of people have, have had. I'm sure there are a lot of persons who have stories like this where oh, they were displaced because after the demise of their father, they said they're not the children of their father. And these people, I mean, yeah, I'm there's sure evidence of acknowledgement during the lifetime of that man. And the evidence you're talking about is him being there on special or events or occasions, like maybe, yeah, there are pictures for the fact that you acknowledge Paul. The strongest one is when so those, those are those are the those are the acknowledgements that yes. that is that is need to be proved in court. They don't have to go through any DNA. Hmm. The widow of that man cannot subject them to a DNA because their father is no more alive, and you can only subject a party to um, a DNA when he's alive. You can't do it behind him. Hmm. You want to determine the paternity of a child, and the father has to be a part of the proceedings. It can't be deceased and you are asking for the paternity hmm. so far he acknowledged his children and in the same vein if those children if there's no evidence to acknowledgement and the widow says i do not know you they can't start claiming that okay let's go for a dna with who oh probably with their half brothers to establish that okay if there's anything um, that shows, yes no way they cannot compel number one you cannot compel the half brothers to subject themselves to a dna the court cannot the court can give an order but you cannot compel right and the fact that the party, mm. right, who is the father in this case, you want to determine the paternity, has died. Lagos, this is getting juicier by the second, but we have to take a break, okay? Don't forget, www.oneplay.ng. Be playing the game as you're getting this juice, okay? We'll be right back. He walks by the civic center, just hear you. I love you like I love no other. It's What's Up Lagos right here. Yeah. You feel good? Go! Attention, Lagos! Get ready for the ultimate celebration at the Family Fun Fiesta edition of the Run for the Future Marathon. On the 27th of April, 2024, join us at the Muriel Kuala Park in Victoria Island for a day packed with excitement, fitness, and family fun. Whether you're a seasoned runner or just want to join in the fun, this event is for everyone. Plus, it's ARM's 30th anniversary. So what are you waiting for? Register now at rftf.arm.com.ng. That's rftf.arm.com.ng. 
www.arm.com.ng ARM, invested in your tomorrow. Colors, they add meaning to our lives. From birth and naming of a child. May your life be rich and potent as the red palm oil. Amen! Colors tell of the feelings in our hearts. Aww. Through rainbow-like roses or even bubbly emojis. Colors speak of our distinctive ancestry through the shade of our skin. Colors are in the bright garbs we wear to impress. Or the deluxe coat we give our buildings. Wow, this is so beautiful. And with our proudly Nigerian deluxe paints now available in any color, express your world however you want it. Visit a Deluxe Color Center to get any color instantly. Deluxe, let's color. Madam, you don't try this new lush hair for you want no lie relaxer kit. We get free neutralizing shampoo and conditioner join. Whoa, me, I know deal. Uh, You're not even sabi waiting the apple for town. You see this lush hair relaxer so. You know the pepper, you know the bun. It won't even make your hair shine like oil. That's so. Lush hair relaxer kit. Not correct. We no go make your hair cut. Uh-huh. We no go make your hair dry. Uh-huh. You know the pepper. Uh-huh. And they relax hair well, well. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Lush hair. Be beautiful. Enjoy the delicious creamy goodness of cowbell. Cowbell contains vitamin H and vitamin B9, which supports brain development. Use cowbell in your tea, cereal, pap, and other meals of choice. Cowbell, so creamy, so good. It isn't just about your safety alone. The lives of other people are in your hands. So whatever you do, be responsible. Don't drink and drive. This is an initiative of the Safe Roads Campaign, brought to you by Perno Ricard Nigeria. Mommy, my teacher said 90% of my brain would develop by the time I am five. Really? What else did she say? She said I need iron in my food for my brain to grow well. Oh, very true. And that's why I give you Cerulac Junior every day, which provides half of your daily iron needs. And Cerilla Junior tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> Cerilla Junior with Iron Plus. It's all good, Mom. I remember being screamed at. The customer was not going to pay for the Bantu knots. But giving up was not an option then. And it isn't now. Not even fear can stop me. Be fearless. Be beautiful with lush hair. Lush hair. Be beautiful. Mr. Teacher, please what happens when children come to school? How is it that they leave home very neat and return looking so different? <laughs> Non-stop action, ma. All the learning and sports burn energy. So those sweat stains, torn uniforms and dirty shoes, they show that your kid has been very active. Now, wow. Your kids need nourishing energy. Give them the new and improved Mellow at breakfast. It has nutrients that support energy release to help them get the most out of their day. Mellow, energy to go further. Mellow. Welcome back to your number one talk, news, and sports station. This is Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info. This is What's Up Lagos. 31 minutes past 11 on the show. We still have a lady lawyer in the studio. And like I told you before we went on that break, it's getting juicier and juicier by the second. Hey, now, wow. 0201465-7190. Make sure that uh, you call us on that uh, uh, number if you have a question for us, you have a comment or you have contributions. And uh, this person on WhatsApp is saying, can the administrator... Listen, no. can the administrator of an estate ask the court for a DNA to determine paternity of a child? Or can the statement in a will instruct to determine who inherits the wealth? Well, in a situation, there's an instruction by the testator mm. that for a child to be able to access the estate mm. should be subjected to a DNA. Okay. Yes. Okay. The court can. 
the court can. But in a situation, there is no instruction. The administrator cannot. Cannot. He's not in the position S to. So in the case of this, let's go back to this Mobad's issue. Mm -hmm. In the case of this Mobad's issue, you are saying the father does not have any right. Because the I'm grandfather. Hearing, the grandfather, yes, yes. Because I'm hearing news about, I've heard, I think I've stormed upon post, uh, uh, I think one of the uh, live, live, uh, Instagram live that the wife was doing and she said something like, oh, she's saying they want to go and exhume his corpse so they can have a DNA That's done. That's problem. Mobad was married to the mother mm. during his lifetime. Yes. Was validly married. Mm. And that marriage produced a child. Okay. For all intent and purposes, children born within a subsistence marriage are presumed, right, mm. to be the child of the husband. Now, even if the father during his lifetime, if Mobad was going to disprove that, that he owned that child. He cannot, with his mouth, disown a child. He must move the court for a scientific test. Okay. To determine that. Because he, the child was born when the, the mother and the father was married. Okay. So even Mobad in his lifetime cannot just disown his child. He would have gone for DNA. Okay. No. Until his lifetime and until his death, he never disproved the paternity of that child. Yes. He acknowledged the child. Although they were like, I think death. there was one time that uh, yeah. a chat uh, between the both of them sufficed Did online. He sufficed online court about his kind of this insinuating that she was cheating Those or something like that. Mm. Insinuations are not fact. He should have gone to court to determine the paternity of that child. So far, it was not done until his death. Liam is the child of Mubad. Now, a grandfather or a family member cannot step into his shoes in his death to demand for the DNA of that child. Because the father who would have been a party to the proceeding is no more alive. Hmm. And you you have to be a party to a proceeding. Go and look at um, section 63 of the Child Rights Act. Hmm. Or I'm sorry, law of legal state. Hmm. It states that a party to a proceeding can a deceased person be a party party to a, dis mm. uh, to, a uh, to a proceeding so the grandfather does not have the right to demand for the paternity of that child for the purpose of succession rights of that child he was born within a subsistent marriage and was acknowledged by the was father acknowledged. and was never disproved until the death and, of and the you father. have mentioned that acknowledgement doesn't necessarily have to be a written document or anything it could just be by words and actions no acknowledgement is even for children as born outside of wedlock for children born within a wedlock the father does not have to acknowledge or disprove it. Hey, wait, okay. Once you are married to the mother, any child born within that marriage belongs to the man. Good morning. What's up, Lagos? What's up, Lagos? Cheers to life. Welcome. The Lord, the Lord, good morning. Good morning, sir. With all your explanation, I think our women, I need to beg them to sit up. They are the make culprit in all these things. Uh, How can a woman in a husband's uh, house then tomorrow they come and start uh, uh, if you see a whole full grown man uh, mom, come and show me my dad hmm. how can so please they need to sit up I beg this is painful please thank you the law thank you very okay. much for your contribution thank you very much for that contribution I'd like to say something to that effect but I'm not I'm not in the mood for that at the moment good morning what's up Lagos hello good, good morning. morning good morning what's up Lagos Hey, what's up, Lagos? I don't see where you're going, Lord. What is it? Good morning. 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 But I also want to plead with the men too. I know that's mm. where she's going. <laughs> 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 it takes two to tango. Yes, mm -hmm. now you understand. Yes, and, and get, I want to you, dance a lanta. It's a log exactly. Mm. It's a login log out thing. As much as I say, the women should please sit up. The men too should stand up so that the two of us can make the home a better place. Thank you. The law, I've learned a lot to do. <laughs> mm. But is, does this also apply to Yes. Adoption as well, you know. Yes. Adoption, everything, you know. You understand what I'm trying to say. Once a child was Thank adopted, you. Mm. right, during the lifetime of a man, mm. and that man acknowledged that child as his adopted child. Nobody. The child can succeed can to the state of that. Yes, you cannot. Hmm. Hmm. So for within marriage, acknowledgement does not even matter. Whether you acknowledge or not, 
it belongs to the man. Mm. It's only for you now to come and disclaim it. And we have to come with proof. Hmm. That proof is very hard to dislodge. With the advent of DNA now, maybe it is easier. You say maybe? Yes. It is only if the child is submitted for a DNA and you can. But there are other ways you can you can get it. I mean, oh. I've heard that you can just you just need a you need a comb to comb the hair. You just need little things. And I mean, wait, wait. How can you determine that? Did did um who's what's the evidence? Okay, if you're saying that okay, as a father, you took a probably mouth mm, swab, toothbrush or and something. You took it to the lab. Who 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 ordered it? Was it the court that ordered that made that order? Because you want to find out if it's you, you know you your, your curiosity. It. Anybody can come in. I can come in and say, oh, I took the sample of the child and this child for just to, um, just to destabilize the father, mm. uh, the, the the family. Mm. So there has to be a an, a court order to that effect. You cannot mm. just go. I can disprove it as the mother, but the court is now free to make its own inference if the mother's refuses to submit the child for the DNA. You're saying if you want to contest the paternity of a child, you have to go to the court first? Is that what you're saying? If the child was born mm. during a subsisting marriage, that yes. marriage is very important. Uh -huh. Children that are born outside of wedlock, if you as a mother assert that the father, that this is the father of the child, mm. if the father disproves it, the best thing is for both of you to go to the court and okay yes okay and have a dna test but even if at that court the father says no i'm not submitting myself to any dna test the court cannot compel but the court can draw an inference that well if you decide not to submit yourself to a dna the court can infer that then it means that you're hiding something then it means that you own the child hmm. but you cannot move some that's so in this uh mobile case nobody can compel women to submit that child to hmm. you. Hmm. Even the court of law cannot. Because by the, even even if even if she was to submit the child, even if she were to uh, agree to submitting the child, yes. who are they going to use Thank you. as, you know? So, hmm. and for Mumad, who is supposed to be a party to the proceeding, is already late. He's hmm. deceased. And this deceased person cannot be a, pros a part of a proceeding of a DNA test. Go and check the child right law. You have to be a living person to be a party to a proceeding. Hmm. I was just saying how we went on a break. Like there are a lot of things we are so ignorant about in Nigeria because we probably don't read and we just hear hearsays are what we go by. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. I like us. If you have questions, the lines are open. Oh, zero two zero one four six five seven one nine zero. We have five minutes on the clock before we move to the one play side of things. So you can quickly call us and ask any question that you want to ask. If you have comments or contributions, you can also drop them on our WhatsApp zero eight zero nine five nine seven five eight zero five. We're streaming on Facebook and YouTube as well. So make sure that you drop your comments if you can allow me to do have any closing statement there's always a when you're in, in court now just closing your closing please thank you well um children born within marriage are offered um whether native law mm. or whether um any marriage any kind of legal marriage i know i've always said that legal marriage is not only marriage under the uh, statutory mm -hmm, yeah it is whether you're married validly under the act under Islamic law or native law, mm. they are all legal marriages. Any child born within that marriage during the lifetime, mm. of that on, on, and even under the statutory act, mm. right? Okay, you can take Let it. Let me just quickly take this one before we continue. Good morning. What's up, Lagos? Hello? Hello? Oh, I really wanted to catch that question so that we can just. Hello? Oh, okay. I okay, think something so is So let me just quickly say what it is. So under the statute, uh, under that act, under the marriage act, yeah. if a child is born within that marriage, mm. and remember I said that after 280 days, mm. right, if the child, the father, mother did not remarry, mm. if a child is born within 280 days of the dissolution of that marriage, mm. the child belongs to the husband of that marriage. So if the father dies, right, if the husband of that dissolved marriage died before the child was born, mm. and the mother claims, right? But that the child belongs to the father. He, that child will be a part of the estate of the father. Okay. Because he was born within 280 days. Mm. Because it is presumed that even a day before the dissolution of a marriage, couples can still yes. meet mm -hmm. and conceive a child. Mm. 
until that marriage is dissolved. So within 280 days of the marriage, which is nine months, any child born to that woman during yeah. that time belongs to the husband. The husband. So okay. even in his death, the families cannot disclaim that child. Beautiful. This has been amazing. I knew this was going to be one of the most interesting topics that we've touched because I, because <laughs> I couldn't wait since last week I've been shouting, because, "Hey, okay, paternity! We're going to talk about it." Because, okay, sorry to just uh, to put it in because mm. in the issue of this layer, it is not in the interest of that child to be a bastard. So, okay, if the court is even going to move to give an order to say that this child does not belong to Mobad, mm. the state will never render a child fatherless. Hmm. Who will be the father of that child? It is not in the interest of that child to be rendered fatherless. Hmm. So it is he's protected by the marriage of his parents, that he's the child of that marriage. Hmm. Let me quickly re read this question. Uh, this one says, good morning, barrister. My question is that if it is discovered that a child whom that mother's husband and born within a legal marriage is later discovered to be born out of wedlock. I didn't get that. The question, if... Okay, let's try to get it. If it's discovered that a child, yes, whom that woman's, whom that mother, mother's husband, and born within a legal marriage is later mm -hmm. discovered to be born out of wedlock, can the man that raised the child as is refuse to surrender the child? Okay, I think I get what he's trying to say. If if, if a man discovers that this this child that I have, this I've child, seen a case, the man refused to four children. He refused to surrender the so, children. Yes, the children knew who their father was, but he did not submit those children. It is a case I was involved in in my former firm. It was a big case. He dragged and dragged till today. The children only go to their mother, not to the. We have to take father. a break, please. Let's just come. Don't forget where you're. See, so, see, Lagos. We'll be right back. <laughs> When you marry, you don't cheat. The most common drug that damages the liver is paracetamol, what we call acetaminophen. People think that paracetamol is just paracetamol. I can take paracetamol. No. Do you know I've been monitoring elections since 1999? Rigging of elections takes two things. You can't have it all with one play. I got that defined, boy. You have just won yourself. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Yes, Melitus. Come on, one player, don't cost us two players because you want 20k. <laughs> yes, so now you want yourself 20,000 naira. My name is well done. Okay, well done. You want to tell you, well done, you want yourself 20,000 naira. With 500 naira, you can play to win big from 120,000 naira to 190,000 naira daily on Nigeria Info. Go to oneplay.ng and play with 500 naira. And in a few seconds, your ticket is in the draw. All dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Win daily on Nigeria Info. 50,000 naira on Minecraft Fire. 60,000 naira on WhatsApp Lagos. 20,000 naira on Sunny Side. And 60,000 naira on Game on. So Lagos, what are you waiting for? The more you play, the better your chances of winning. Remember to dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Play responsibly, not suitable for persons under the age of 18. Without much ado, uh, just to continue with that thing you were t telling me before, telling us before we went on that break about the fact that a man can decide to surrender his children or not, or his child or not, even after he discovers that the child is not his. Okay, let me tell you what happened in this particular case. The father there of the Igbo extraction mm. was married to the woman. Mm. He paid the bride price and he did the statutory marriage. Mm. The woman now left the home, now went to another man's house, mm. right? Mm. And had four then, children. No, okay. then she came back again mm. into the marriage. Mm. So she started seeing the other man. Now, she now came back after the children were like 11, 12, 9. Then the other man came to say, I own the children. Oh yeah, let's go for DNA test. The man took the children and ran off and did submit the children for DNA. And the woman was very sure. So they were in court. And because the children The woman were was born, very sure the children are not the children yes, of her husband. Yes. She knows, okay? The man did not submit the children for DNA, DNA. till today. And the court agreed with him. Wow. Because he was validly married. Because it's for public pop, uh, policy. If the court should encourage that, it means that men will raise children 
send them to medical school, do this and that. One man will just come from somewhere and say, I own the children because DNA said, and that's the end. No, you have to protect the institution of marriage. And the court agreed with him. Hmm. And the children are in, they are in his custody to this day. Yes, people know that the man is not the father of the children. Yes, because he refused to submit the children for DNA. He should have, if he was very sure, he should have gone to submit them. But he did not. Okay, Engineer Francis, I hope uh, that answered your question. But we have to go now, Lagos. And, uh, of course, the conversation continues online, so you can go to our, our, our social media page. Make sure you're following us so you can continue the conversations uh, there. Uh, Olamide, how can we find you? You can find social me media. on Olamide underscore lady underscore lawyer on Instagram, and I am Olamide Unifade across all other social media platforms. Mm. But there's this question here. The person is saying, is fraternity fraud a street parlance or a legal term? Because fraud in phrase suggests criminality. So shouldn't paternity fraud be a criminal offense? Not yet. Under our jurisprudence, not yet. Okay. I, I think that already answers the question. You didn't put your name, but it was a long it's a long question, but I can't read everything because we don't have time. Guys, we have to go on this side. The show continues on the one place side of things. We're picking our winners. Three people are winning twenty thousand naira this morning, right now, as we are talking to you, as I'm talking to you, bye bye. <laughs> so make sure you're playing if you haven't played ww.oneplay.com ng is where you need to go to play that game so go there right now because twenty thousand naira is about to be yours for the taking if you have played and if you have not played of course we are waiting for we want to give you like mm, one minute one minute to play the game it's what's up lagos right here yeah you feel good go this is What's Up Lagos. Take you to Lagos. I'll take you to Lagos. I'll take you to Lagos. To Lagos. Okay, let's uh, pick our winners this morning. Three people. Three. Hmm. Three lucky people. 20,000 Naira. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. I'm picking my first winner now. Yeah, I'm picking the first winner on the show this morning. And of course, we have a winner. Yes, 0909 ends with 460. Congratulations. I'm calling you right away. No time to check time over here. Let me call this person and tell them this good news. I don't know. Is it just me? I think like <laughs> a lot is always good news though. Regardless of how I'm feeling. Regardless of the weather. <laughs> if you see a lot, your mood changes. Not debit a lot. Credits a lot. So let's get that right. Let's get that straight. Alrighty. It's ringing. <laughs> Speak your phone. Well, the ladies. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Where are my ladies day now? Hell, oh, my enemies. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> let me calm down. My name is Feta. What's your name? Tinuke baby! Hello, oh, my lovely girl! Did you play any game recently? Yes. Hey, my love. Eh? What did you play? March 20th. March 20th, that's what you played. Yes. He Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. You said you played the game March 20th. Yes. Did you yes. play today? Yes, I played today. How many times did you play today? I played one. What okay. game? What game do you think I'm talking about, though? Turn ahead on radio. Eh, hey, what is it? Now call the name. I forgot it. You know about something? I forgot it. Ah, you forgot it that you played one play. Yes, you won't play. Yes, one play. One How play. much did you use to play the game? Five hundred naira. My love. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
And then we did again. You have won yourself 20,000 Naira. Tineke, <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Okay. Tomorrow is 50,000 Naira jackpot. Make sure you play because you just might win. Okay. Congratulations. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Where my women's day now? I have nobody to jollificate with me. The joy is uncomfortable. <laughs> my enemy is Unta. A woman has won. Unta. Hey. Can I pick another winner? Let me see. Mm. Can I pick? Can I pick? Can I pick? Can I pick? Oh, we don't have time. We have just one minute. Two minutes, actually. I have to go. I can't. I can't take another winner this morning. Of course, one play will call you and you will get your money tomorrow. 50,000 naira. You can be it. You can be it. Yes. All you have to do is to play this game. Go to www.oneplay.ng. And of course, 50k can just be yours tomorrow, 11.45, when we do the live draw. Don't sleep on this. If you'll sleep you snooze you lose okay uh-huh i'm so happy my joy is full i have to go lagos that's the show thank you so much for joining us today on what's up lagos 99.3 nigeria info your number one station for news talk and sports yes you can find us on social media we're on facebook x threads instagram youtube we, we actually uh went live today on facebook and youtube you have to subscribe to our youtube channel so you can watch us live when we go live and of course watch other content that we have on there for you you can find me on instagram feta dynamo on twitter d underscore feta on tiktok feta dynamo I have to go. Lagos, stay sharp, stay happy. At 12 p.m., it's going to be the news at 12. Yvonne is in the studio. And, of course, 12.15, the sunny side with Joyce Onyemu at 3 p.m. Marion Duke O'Conn with Hard Fact. See you again tomorrow. Bye. Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info.